Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday. I'm about to be on my way to school. It's my first day of my pharmacy tech classes. My left side of my cheek still hurt because he had to do some extra work to it. But so far, I'm doing really good. Better than what I was doing at first on the videos. Um, I'm going back today to get some more pain meds. So it can help with this one right here. I'm still swollen. My brother is moving the car so I can roll out. <laughs> he was letting me hear his little bass he got in his car. <laughs> so far, my cheeks, well, my jaws, not my cheeks. I call them cheeks. Well, my jaws, they are still locked. I can talk, but I can't open my mouth. It's um why because they're still locked this one hurts really bad i can't take hydrocodone while i'm driving so i'm gonna wait till i get to school i'll be whipping this junk i'm gonna take while i'm in school because i'll be in school for about three or four hours so the hydrocodone will wear off hopefully by the time i um leave it hurts now since i was talking really loud ah. my hair looks like it's growing I had my hair wrapped all week because I was in pain. You can tell my face is still swollen. Look, I feel a whole lot better than what I was. I was contemplating whether I should go to school or not. I had to go. Come on now. It's the first day of pharmacy tech class. Why would I miss the first day of class? I made it to school. That was my baby brother just texted me. I was talking a lot earlier in the video and I ended up hurting my mouth i don't supposed to be stretching my mouth like ah and i did that while i was talking in the video and i ended up hurting myself I pop one of these um painkillers in before i go in school i'm gonna be freaking high as a kite while i'm in class hey but it's gonna be the legal high <laughs> legal high painkillers high uh, i'm hurting right now i'm still swollen gums hurt they itch too my grandma said that means it's healing it's an itch i'm very excited to start a pharmacy tech classes Woohoo! and i got like 10 views on one of my videos i'm excited that 10 people actually watched my video i'm so excited thank you thank you thank you i don't care too much about subscribers like i just do this for fun i don't do it to gain subscribers And it seems like since I got my um, teeth pulled, it affected my other teeth too. Like, my other teeth hurt. That's why I haven't been eating. Like, oh, I lost seven pounds. It's probably more than seven. But since I weighed myself on day three, I lost seven pounds. Isn't that awesome? But I'm going to get them back when I start back eating because I'm going out to eat. Like, for real. I'm going to get some steak. I'm getting everything. What is that noise? I'm in paranoid about everything because my check engine light is on, so I get scared that something's going to happen to my car. Do y'all see this bump? That's really annoying. I'm in my new class. <laughs> I'm not snapping, I'm videoing. I'm excited to learn. They have a lot of medications here. I'm excited. I need to see if I can find my medicine. I'm on. I'm gonna like this class because these people in here are very nice in the last class. I'm on amoxicillin too. I found that. And let me see if I can find hydrocodone. Oh yeah, cause he doing pharmacy tech. I see hydro. That's not it. So look how big it is. It's right here. Man, it's a big bottle. Ain't nothing in there. Yes, it is. This is the one you on. How'd you cut on? See, you on the one you on on um, control with, 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 with Tylenol, right? Yeah, pain right. reliever. That's what. And see, the metaphene is Tylenol. He's so smart. Well, I know about drugs. I had to. I was a drug counselor. 
I'm back home. Today was wonderful. I wrapped my hair before I started vlogging because like as soon as I get home, I got to wrap my hair. We got like six or seven books today while we was in school. That's a lot of books. All of these books. I had fun. As soon as I walked in, a girl was like, and one girl was like, I like your eyebrows. They're so beautiful. So it's, it's good to know that somebody like my eyebrows because don't nobody say it. Not too many people, you know, say something about my eyebrows, but it was kind of nice that she said something about it. When I was in class, before I went in class, I took a painkiller. And it worked while I was in class, but it wore off like an hour and a half before class was dismissed. So I was in pain. and when nobody said nothing to me. I was like, I, I didn't have an attitude, but people would have thought I had an attitude because I wasn't saying anything. I was just in a lot of pain. And my mom, she got my pills for me. So when I got home, I could take them. So she already got it when she was out. And I'm so hungry. Like, I'm still not eating right. Before I got home, I got me some potatoes, mashed potatoes from Popeye's. So I'm finna eat that. And I just took a pill. So I'm gonna probably be knocked out. So I don't know if I'm gonna vlog again or not. I may vlog. And sometimes I just wanna hear it and put it on so y'all can see it. But I'll talk to y'all later. Because I'm finna. Oh! And I forgot. Got my wisdom teeth removed. So I sat up there and started sipping out of a straw. Knowing I'm supposed to sip out of a straw. That's not good. I hope everything is okay. I hope I didn't destroy anything by sipping out of a straw. And when I got in the house, I sipped out of it again. I forgot again. So I completely took the top off. So I could just drink out of the cup instead of sipping out of it. So hopefully it didn't have any damage. Mashed potatoes with gravy. This is my gourmet meal until my gums feel a lot better. And I'm going to eat it like I'm eating shrimp. I'm almost done eating my food and it is so good. I haven't gotten this full since last Wednesday. I got them removed. And right now I'm watching Judge Judy. I stay watching all of the court shows. I like watching Judge Judy because she, she don't play. And my cat is right here now playing with some string or something. Ali! <laughs> She's so smart. I'm y'all probably wondering why I got the bed sheets off my bed, and that's because I didn't want any blood. Cause it, when, if you have gotten your wisdom teeth removed, then you know that you bleed a lot, like dripping blood. And I didn't want that in my bed, so I took my sheets off and I just left them off. I'm going to put it back on probably before this weekend. But I just didn't want any blood in my bed or on my pillows or anything. Watching the 5 o'clock news. And I'm getting really pissed off because they sitting up there talking about pregnant mothers who take illegal drugs. They can't get arrested. You can harm your child. That's just as bad as you abusing your child when it's out of the womb. I don't like that. But in other good news, doctors now have to check um, the patient's history of the medicine that they took prior to prescribing the medicine it's a lot of just got passed well it got passed last year but it's ineffective starting today it prevents people from abusing the drugs now whenever you get your drugs prescribed to you they will check to make sure if you haven't already had those drugs or and that's a good thing because nowadays pharmacies don't talk to each other so they don't know that the person has already had that drug they could go to a different pharmacy, fill that drug out, go to another hospital, oh, I'm sick, get another prescription, and go fill it out at a different pharmacy. And that's how you'll get double amount of what you don't need. They probably did that on me to check to make sure I ain't abusing my drugs because there's a lot of people that can get addicted to, that can get addicted to hydrocodone. And luckily, I'm not one of those. I'm actually using for actual, like, pain. Okay, mama.
I just don't like the whole thing about how I don't know what's going on with the world for why parents can't get in trouble for using illegal drugs while they're pregnant. They ass should be arrested. Why would you do that? Like, why would you want to harm your child just so you can get that good feeling for a few seconds? That's really not cool. And then, on another note with the prescribed drugs, I didn't even know that Tennessee was the number one highest rate of um, drug abuse. That needs to get under control, for real. I'm really glad I hate all of my mashed potatoes because normally I get tired after one bite of eating anything because, of, you know, my wisdom teeth. So it's like, man, I get that one bite and it takes all day just to chew it, all day just to swallow it. And I'm like, man, I'm tired and I just stopped eating, but I ate all of my food. I'm happy now. I wanted to go to Bible study tonight. They don't call it Bible study. They call it Power Hour for young adults in their 20s. I wanted to go, but I couldn't. Because, for one, my teeth are still irritating me. And two, I know it takes a risk to drive up there. And my car ended up breaking down or something. I need to get that fixed this week. I just woke up from a nap and my pain meds have worn off and I'm not going to take one until I go back to sleep. I'm about to work on some work that's due, I don't know when it's due, I'm just going to start working on it. I'm going to hop in the shower and then I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye bye. I got some ice cream cake and I'm about to eat it. Chocolate, which is my favorite cake. And mint chocolate, which is my favorite ice cream. Oh, only thing that's missing is whipped cream topping. That would be so good. But I'm fine with this topping.